Good morning, Andy here. I'm doing a little recording for Jen uh, because she asked me about the MixLR uh, website and how, and how to do it with YouTube or something like that. I don't know. It's a bit early in the morning for me to remember things like that. Um, so, right, this is the uh, my MixLR web page. Um, I won't patronize you by showing you how to set it all up. It's very straightforward. Um, you can either link it through Facebook or you can set up an actual account um, and register that way. Um, to actually get a live recording going, you need to download some software and I will show you the choices. Then, uh, right, if you want to do it through your iPhone, which you probably don't, um, you can go to the App Store. And then you've got the desktop versions again, Mac, App Store, or Download for Windows. I've done Download for Windows, and you will see the software in a moment. So one thing I should warn you is this page should not be open when you're actually broadcasting, because it will make one hell of a noise. It's just like a massive echo. I'll show you an example in a moment if you're um, if you have not fallen asleep by now. Um, but let me sh close this uh, page down. Oh. Get rid of that. And that's for something later. So I'll show you the example. Press play. This is one I made earlier, as they used to say. Getting discussion going on. Uh, I'll tell you I that. that um, and uh, uh, some of the some of the videos we've seen are getting discussion going on. I'll tell you that. Clear to me. And some of the videos we've seen are getting discussion going on. I'll tell you that. Clear to me. So that's the noise that you get if you leave that page open, and it's just one massive echo chamber, basically, because what's happening here is this software, which you can see at the top here. Um, where am I? spinning it all around um, is basically recording anything that's coming off my computer and obviously if I've got two pages with noise coming out of them going on it's going to record everything. Um, right, we're using Dave Cormier as an example he seems to be quite popular at the moment with my uh, friends and colleagues as he's running a little MOOC called Rizzo 14 so type in his name which I've already done set it to talk you've got all sorts of choices but um, talk seems to work best for obvious reasons um, and then go to this one which is the microphone um, I've played with all these choices and what works is if you go down to speakers high definition audio go like that and turn it to on set that to record turn the test off and then simply go and this is a recording so press play on this case it's difficult because not everybody has the literacies to handle that so and it's really as simple see. as that i'm going to do the same thing i did last time let's play this i'm going to go and I'll show you the rest uh, of one two three four five and then we'll start up Stop just by pressing on that. Do you want to stop the broadcast? Yes. Now, if you want to then publish, you go yes. Does that? Just makes that fancy red line. And once it's finished, you can go straight to the page. This is exciting, isn't it? Woohoo! Go to. Okay, so this is going to take a little while to buffer. I'll close that. In the meantime, I want to show you this. This is listen to youtube.com. Um, if you want to keep it a recording of the sound file, you can either do it through the MixLR or you can just create an MP3 uh, file. So go to the YouTube video, get the URL. Copy, let's open this up, enter the YouTube URL, as you can see I've already been practicing, so I wouldn't make a complete balls up for this uh, screencast, 
and then just go. Now that again, that, this takes a little while, and you and you don't really want to watch that all going on. So let's go back to this. This should be working now. Just refresh, and there you go. It's all working. So it's really a simple. It's difficult because not everybody has the literacies to handle that. This will carry on going and. At the end of it, you will have an MP3 file which you can use or not use, and and it's all done. So I will end the recording there. If you want anything else, then please do just send me an email.